Despite the fact that movie budgets, for big Hollywood films anyway, are constantly increasing, it's a little bit surprising that directors still struggle to deal with that mega budget. In fact, there have been many times where directors have blown a massive part of their budget on just one scene alone. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the most expensive movie scenes of all time, what made them so costly, and whether or not they were actually worth the money spent. Let's take a look. Before we get into the top 10 itself, let's just quickly go over the ones that didn't quite make the cut, but were pretty darn close. First, the the scene where the Brooklyn Bridge collapses in the sci-fi dystopia I Am Legend cost the production quite a bit of money, as they were obviously unable to blow the bridge for real and had to bring in their visual effects gurus to bring the scene to life. Not only this, but to shoot the footage on the ground, they actually did have to evacuate the area and bring in over a thousand extras. So the scene reportedly cost $5.5 million to create, but it was arguably integral to the storyline as it showed the death of Neville's family and where his trauma comes from. Another scene that was costly to create create was the moment the Japanese launched their surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in the Michael Bay movie of the same name. That's because the production had to fork out on miniatures, models, CGI, and of course, as it's a Michael Bay movie, explosions. And it ended up costing a reported overall fee of $7.5 million. A quick spoiler for you here, this is not the last time Michael Bay features in this video. And one final honorable mention, while it may not be the most costly scene of all on this list, the moment Tom Cruise runs through Times Square in Vanilla Sky calls the movie one million dollars for only 30 seconds of content, as they had to shut down the whole place for three hours so they could pull it off without the use of CGI. Was it worth it? Well, at least Tom seems to think so. All this being said, despite taking a look around, we couldn't find the figures for the Helm's Deep scene in The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and the 747 crash in Tenet, and would be interested to see how they compare here. If anyone from Warner Brothers wouldn't mind slipping that one into the comments, we'd really appreciate it. We promise to rewatch Tenet again on HBO Max and attitude. Thanks. Alrighty, on to the top 10, and strangely enough, the 10th most expensive scene to shoot actually didn't make it into the movie. For the 2006 movie Superman Returns, there was originally an opening scene which saw Superman return to his homeworld of Krypton, and it's filled with a brilliant score, interesting visual effects, and close-ups of Brandon Routh's piercing eyes. To bring this scene to life, the production team apparently forked over $10 million, but when it came to editing, despite its high cost, it ended up on the cutting room floor, as it didn't match tonally with the rest of the movie. It's it's kind of a shame to be honest, as it's actually a pretty good scene, and it's disappointing it wasn't actually the beginning of the movie. Was the scene worth the $10 million price tag? Well, all in all, it's hard to justify spending that much money on a scene only to leave it out. Next on the list is an opening scene that actually did make it into the movie, and aren't we better for it, as it is easily one of the best opening scenes in a movie of all time. We're of course talking about the D-Day landing scene in Steven Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan. Spielberg was meticulous when it came to bringing bringing the landings to life, and many veterans have said that the scene is extremely accurate and is a strikingly real and grounded portrayal of the events. Of course though, this kind of realism doesn't come cheap, and the scene runs for over 20 minutes, took over four weeks to make, and reportedly cost production $12 million to bring to life. With all of the explosions, extras, historically accurate props, and just overall time spent, it's no surprise, and it's hard to say that the scene wasn't worth the money. Also, I know there will be some out there who will say it isn't actually the opening scene and all right fair play to you but it is the opening scene that everyone remembers just saying when it comes to spending huge amounts of money on several scenes the matrix franchise is easily the best example take for instance the matrix reloaded highway scene which cost the movie a fee of somewhere between 10 to 15 million dollars that's because the construction costs alone took 2.5 million dollars while the production also had to pay for cgi stunt work pyrotechnics training for the stars and a number of smashed vehicles just to name a few of the costs. You'd have to say though that the end result is pretty, pretty, pretty good. But that's not the only scene that cost the Matrix production a lot of money, and won't be the last in this video, with the opening scene of the original Matrix movie reportedly costing $10 million, which would be around $15 million today when taking our good friend inflation into account. As promised, next up is another Michael Bay scene, which apparently cost production an easy $15 million. Seeing as the Transformers movies require a lot of CG to bring the Cybertronians to life, the VFX bills for these movies is often pretty hefty, with the most expensive scene coming in the movie Transformers The Last Night. The scene in question is the junkyard scene, which was filmed on location in Arizona and took 10 days to shoot, as it was action-packed and was a combination of both CGI and practical effects. And again, seeing as it's a Michael Bay movie, it was also filled with explosions. Another scene that cost production a massive $15 million was the flying bus scene in the movie Swordfish. 
Jellyfish. That's because while CGI was used for some of the sequence, such as the interior shots where the bus was lifted on a crane and filmed in front of green screen, the exterior shots of the bus being suspended in the sky were actually real, with a bus actually being airlifted through the city. But as we mentioned, the price for realism is a lot, and the movie had to pay a premium price for that risky stunt. James Bond might be known for driving fast and luxurious Aston Martins, but he's also known for smashing them, and in the Daniel Craig movies alone, he's made his way through a fair share of the expensive supercars. But none were as expensive as the DB10, which was specifically designed for the movie Spectre by Aston Martin, with only 10 of the cars ever being produced. Seven of those 10 cars were completely smashed to pieces while making the movie, and to tell you the truth, that hurts my heart quite a bit. It is such a beautiful car. The Spectre crew said they spent millions smashing up cars, including Dave Bautista's Jaguar CX-75, with a budget of $32 million spent on destroying the vehicles alone. This meant that the Rome car chase scene became extremely expensive, and although it's unclear exactly how much the production spent on the scene, it's most likely north of $15 million. Another vehicle that cost a literal boatload to crash was the ship crash in the movie Speed 2 Cruise Control, which somehow didn't star Tom Cruise. Opportunity missed. For the most part, Speed 2 opts to use some questionable CGI, but for the movie's climax and the inevitable moment the ship crashes, just like the movie Swordfish, they wanted to bring the scene to life for real, without the use of CGI, or even models or miniatures. So to do this, the production built their very own seaside town with the sole objective of destroying it, before building a rail system so they could drive the ship through it. The construction of the town alone reportedly cost $5 million, while the scene as a whole cost $25 million, which Fun fact is just shy of the entire budget of the first Speed movie. Was it worth it? Eh, nah, probably not. Like the D-Day landing scene, one of the most iconic scenes of all time has to be the chariot scene in the classic 1959 movie Ben-Hur. The scene is packed full of action, phenomenal shots, and stunning set work, and all in all was one of the best aspects of the movie and helped cement it as an all-time classic. But seeing as the movie didn't have the luxury of CGI or even models, they had to create everything from scratch. Seeing how intense this scene is, it cost the movie a lot of time and money. To shoot the scene alone took production 10 weeks and over $4 million, which may not sound like that much now, especially given the cost of other scenes in this video, but when we take inflation into account, that figure balloons up to just shy of $35 million, which is crazy. All that being said though, it's hard to argue that it wasn't worth it. Classic. Like we said, The Matrix likes to spend a lot of money on a handful of scenes, and none cost more than the moment Neo takes on an army of Smiths in The Matrix Reloaded. Seeing as it's nearly impossible to convincingly stitch together seemingly hundreds of Hugo Weavings with extras who look just like him, they had to use an extensive amount of CGI to bring the scene to life, and basically had to develop the technology to make it possible while working on the movie. How much did it cost to make this scene happen exactly? Well, reportedly an eye-watering $40 million. But you know what though? For the most part, I'd say it holds up. Well played. Mr. Anderson. But if all those figures seemed astronomical for the filming of one scene, that is all about to be completely and totally eclipsed. However, the film in question might surprise you. For the live action version of Leo Tolstoy's novel War and Peace, the four part series, which was released in the late 60s, had an absolutely huge budget of $100 million. Taking our good friend inflation into account, that adds up to, get ready for this, $727,667,570. $74.93, which is absolutely mind-boggling. A huge chunk of that money went into creating the Battle of Borodino scene in Part 3, which required vast amounts of props, costumes, pyrotechnics, and just people in general, with there being over 100,000 extras to film the scene, with this movie much like Ben-Hur not having the luxury of CGI. The scene as a whole is one hour long, and while the exact figure isn't known, it's believed that the scene cost around adjusted for inflation, 100 million of that over 700 million figure, and is therefore likely the most expensive scene of all time. And before we go, although it's not a movie, we just wanted to throw Game of Thrones into the mix, as every episode in the final season reportedly cost HBO $15 million, while scenes like the Battle of the Blackwater, Hardhome, and Battle of the Bastards cost production $8 million to $10 million each. 